Hey guys! I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shaka, as always, and I'm so grateful that you guys are watching, subscribing, and commenting on my channel. I really appreciate the support. In this video, I wanted to speak to you guys about grounding and being present in the, in the moment, in this moment right now. And what does being present really feel like in the body and in the mind? This is something that is extremely crucial for humanity right now. I noticed that we are all, 99% of the population on this planet is extremely ungrounded. And obviously, I've, I've said this before, I think it's because of the fact that we have been kind of uprooted from our normal way of living, which is in jungles, forests, you know, walking around barefoot, the way indigenous tribes live, you know, connected to our food, connected to our water source, connected to the people around us, living in a community. All of those things, the way that you know indigenous tribes live, that's our traditional manner of living, and that's what grounds us. But we've kind of been uprooted from that way of living and been put into concrete jungles where you know we one person lives in one apartment, we never really see each other, we don't talk to one another, we never smile at each other unless you live in Thailand. Um, and we're uprooted or kind of, we have no idea where our food comes from. That's the reason why we're able to eat all the crap that we do. We have no idea where our water comes from. You know, it just kind of pours out of the tap. You just switch it on and boom, it's there. Who knows where it comes from? Who knows what's in it? Uh, so there's a lot of things that are causing us to be ungrounded. Uh, and so we're spending a lot of time, not only obviously in the future, because that's the way humanity is right now. That's the way culture our civilization is, it teaches us to live in the future. You think about what you're going to buy in the future, think about what you're going to do in the future, think about the future all the time, because that's where consumerism lies, right? You can't be in the present moment and think about all the things you want to buy, right? And the same thing with the past, you know, either if you're going to not spend time in the future, then berate yourself about the past. Think about the past, what you did wrong, and then fix it by buying something, right? If you did something wrong in the past because you bought that or you did that, then fix it by buying something right now or doing something right now in the moment, right? And so either we're spending time in the past or the future and we're not spending time in the present moment. And you will notice that anything that you do that grounds you, that brings you back into the present moment, will really change the way you look at the world, the way you, where your body feels in the world, the way your body-mind connection feels. All of that is going to be transformed by the process of grounding, by the process of being in the present moment. I have many different techniques that I've talked about in the past, TRE being one, the trauma intention releasing exercise that grounds you. Meditation is obviously another one, especially if it's a body scan meditation, really grounds you, grounds you in your body and makes you realize you have a body, right? Because as human beings, we're spending so much time in our heads and basically with our eyes. I think we're just kind of focused on our fingers because we use those for our phones and our eyes, right? We don't actually even say anything anymore. We don't, we just are, are focused with our eyes and we use our fingers to move the screen around. And so those are the only two part, parts of our body that we're connected to anymore, right? And so after a long time, after being on the phone for like two or three hours doing that over and over again, or being on the computer doing that, you kind of lose sense of uh, you lose sense of our of your body. You have no idea where is my back, where is my bum, where are my feet, where are my ankles. All of that kind of loses perspective. You 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 kind of stumble around a lot. You just have no idea where your body exists in space. That's one of the reasons why people are always bumping themselves everywhere because they just don't know. Also, the fact that you know we're getting crappier and crappier at sports or just moving about in the world, we're not graceful anymore because we don't use our bodies anymore. You know, we're just sitting around all day long on the couch, and I am absolutely guilty of that as well. So I'm not saying that I don't do it. So of course, as I said, meditation, TRE, yoga is a big one for medit for grounding yourself in your body. It's a great one for connecting yourself to your body and realizing, wow, I have a body. And because a lot of yoga poses are you know, doing it done standing up and really pressing your feet or stamping your feet into the ground, that is absolutely grounding. Dancing is another one, obviously, moving your body and, you know, as I, as I said, stamping your body or moving, and moving your feet in a way that really grounds you and makes you feel the earth. Breathing deeply, breathing as deeply as possible, so taking your sweet time breathing in, taking in a breath with eight counts and then releasing it with four. That's the best. I think that's one of the ones that I do a lot. Eight in, four out. Eight in, four out. 
And so that really, again, grounds you as well. Wim Hof breathing is another way of grounding yourself. Journaling is another way of grounding yourself. So as I, as I said, there's a lot of techniques out there that you can use in order to ground yourself into the present moment, into your body. As soon as you are grounded, there's going to be a certain thing, certain things that you're going to notice about yourself. And I want to kind of delineate some of them here. So when you are in the moment, you can actually kind of pinpoint that. Oh, yes, right now I'm in the moment. Right now I'm grounded. And when you're not, you can also pinpoint it again. Be like, all right, cool. I, my vision is not that clear. So it must mean that I am not grounded at the moment. Right. So a few things. I'll just start off from the top of your head. A few things that you're going to notice when you are grounded, when you are in the present moment, is that your vision is going to be clearer. As one of the main benefits that I found for, from, for me with TRE is that as soon as I do a TRE session, I'll walk around in the world and all of a sudden colors are brighter, the, my vision is deeper and I can see further, it's clearer. All of a sudden I'm seeing all these things that I'm like, wow, I'm, I was never able to see it before. Now, it's not that I wasn't able to see it. I wasn't focusing on it in that manner. And so all of a sudden, because I am grounded, I can see my peripheral vision is expanded. I can see so much more and so much clearer. It is absolutely astounding to me when that happens. I'm, every single time it happens, I get surprised because I'm standing there and I'll literally stop and I'll stand there and think to myself, can I seriously see that? I can't believe it, right? And so I'll just savor it because I just, it's just so, I'm so grateful to have that clear vision. And so easy, just ground yourself, right? And so normally, obviously, when we are not grounded, we're walking around with not 20-20 vision. I'm not saying that I have 20-20 vision, but vision that's not really clear. You know, we're, we're like tunnel vision. We really only see our phone or like a little bit of the world and we have blinders on. We're kind of like living in a really narrow field. And it's such a terrible way to live. But if you are grounded and you're in the present moment, all of a sudden your field expands, your vision expands, you're able to see so much more. Not only with your eye, but also with your mind's eye. All of a sudden you'll be able to see connections and all of these intricacy, intricacies that you were not able to notice before. And that's what the power of rounding is. That's the reason why really grounded people are extremely creative as well, because they're able to make connections that you wouldn't normally be able to make because you're living in the future or living in the past. So vision, obviously, as I said, becomes clearer. Obviously your taste, you're going to be able to taste things better as well because all of a sudden you're not you know, thinking about the future or thinking about the past. You're actually savoring your food. You're sitting down and actually taking a sip of uh, a drink or, or eating a bite of food and actually feeling it, you know, actually really realizing what the taste is like. Oh, is it bitter? Is it this, that? And we only usually do that when we're t at like a wine tasting or at a chocolate tasting or something like that. You know, we never really pay attention to our food. And if you are grounded, you will notice that you are going to be able to pay more attention to your food. You're able to taste it better. All of the different intricacies of the food itself will be made apparent to your palate. All of a sudden you're like, oh, that I never tasted that in that item and I've eaten it a billion times before. And so all the spices are a little bit more um, uh, you can actually taste them, they're more savory, all of the different senses are just alive. And so obviously your nose as well, you can be able to smell better. And all of a sudden you're like, okay, what is that smell? <laughs> Whereas you were able to ignore it before, right? all of a sudden your senses are, are sharpened. And so touch, your vision, your, your taste, your auditory senses, all of them have been expanded all of a sudden. Instead of living in that narrow vision or narrow tunnel, you've kind of been expanded and you've grown as a human being. You've all of a sudden been able to see so much more than you can before, right? And so as I said, all the senses will be sharpened, so sharp that you suddenly feel like you're a child walking around the world thinking to yourself, wow, I, I'm seeing all these things that I've never seen before, right? And that's why I love, love being grounded. Another thing you're going to notice is that you're going to start noticing all of these aches and pains in your body. Most of the time, as, we, as I said, we're disconnected from our bodies. It's as if we're just this person here and then the rest of this body, it does not exist. And so we'll be all of a sudden disconnect, all of a sudden if we are connected to our bodies, right? And so we're like, oh, whoa, I have a body. Wow, what the hell? <laughs> it's exactly how it happens to me. And so I'm like, all right, cool, I have a body. And all of a sudden you'll start noticing all these aches and pains in your body. Your ankle starts hurting all of a sudden. You're like, it was fine a couple of minutes ago, what happened? 
it's not that it started hurting all of a sudden it's that you started noticing the pain you're more connected to your body and all of a sudden you're like ah, oh, i see so i've been sleeping improperly or i haven't been walking properly and i haven't been noticing that because i've been in my head living in the future or the past and all of a sudden i'm in my body in the present moment and i realize all of these aches and pains that i never noticed before right? which is a great thing because that's when you can kind of start taking care of them instead of letting, letting it get worse and worse and worse and then needing a hip replacement or something. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times that's what happens to people is that they ignore their bodies, ignore their bodies, ignore their bodies. All these aches and pains keep on building up. They just take Tylenol to suppress it if it gets too much. And all of a sudden they're like, oh, whoa, I need surgery to replace my knee, but it was fine all, all, all till now. And you know, the body's thinking, no, I wasn't fine. I was telling you over and over again that I'm hurting and I need help and you ignored it or you just suppressed the pain by taking Tylenol or some other pain suppressant. You, know, you weren't listening to me. Pain is a sign that your body needs some sort of healing and we need to pay attention to that. Right? The same thing with I really hate acid reflux medicine is that you're, you know, you're getting acid, acid reflux and you just take medicine to kind of quell it and you're like, but that's not the point of it. Your body is trying to tell you something. Your stomach is trying to tell you something. Something is wrong. You know, stop taking medicine and fix the issue, the underlying cause of it. Anyways, I'm not gonna get into that. That's one of my pet peeves. So again, as I said, you're, you're gonna start noticing all these aches and pains. Also, you're gonna notice that your feet become extremely grounded on to the earth. So it's as if you're like suddenly feeling this connection with the earth that you've never felt before. Your feet are so grounded that you feel like you're like a tree. I, when I do TRE or I do any of these exercises, grounding exercises, I notice that I'm, my feet as if it feels like my feet have expanded it's like they're not just this long anymore they're just like this huge i feel like i am the trunk of a tree my feet are like the trunk of the tree and i just feel so expanded and my feet are are big and they're really taking up a lot of space and i can really feel every receptor and every neuron in my body you know every receptor at the bottom of my feet has been activated and i feel it and i feel them connecting to the ground and i feel it connected to me the same thing with every other neuron and every every neuron in my brain every receptor in my body all of a sudden i'm feeling all of these things everywhere and and being attached to it and, and associated with it before i would completely be disconnected from it all of a sudden i can feel it and really feel it feel it in my being and you know i can feel my fingertips and i can feel like oh whoa i, I have all these receptors in my fingers that i never noticed you know i'll feel my back all of a sudden and you know, our backs, because we never see them, we usually never connect to them. But all of a sudden, I'll start feeling all these things in my back, the receptors in my back. And I realize my back is actually extremely sensitive because I, if, even if, I, if someone touches it a little bit, I, you know, I jump. And that's only because I've become more connected to my body. Right? And so these are some of the things that you guys are going to start noticing the more grounded you become. Right? Taste, senses, um, all of your, your vision, obviously. Uh, food becomes tastier or more savory. You notice all the different things. Uh, your body, your feet, um, your stomach. You're, you're going to start noticing your digestion gets better because you're not just shoveling food into your mouth without thinking about it. You're actually savoring it and therefore your digestion obviously becomes better as well. Right? So obviously there's a lot of good benefits of grounding and as I've said before, we are ungrounded, extremely ungrounded in this culture of ours especially the Western culture. I've noticed that more and more as I get older that if I don't force myself, if I don't forcibly ground myself, I can be the most ungrounded person on the planet. I can spend all of my time in my head and it is extremely exhausting because you're either running to the future or running away from the past. And both of those things are exhausting, mentally, spiritually, physically exhausting. Unless you're actually spending time in the present moment, you won't notice all of that exhaustion, right? That's the reason we're able to push through burnout, push through exhaustion. Just take some caffeine and everything's gonna be fine. Um, maybe you should go to sleep. Have you thought about that? Well, you won't until you're actually grounded and you actually notice your body and you feel, wow, I really need this, or, oh, I should really go to sleep now, or, you know, I, I really should eat something now. Whatever that those needs might be, your bodily needs, you're not gonna notice it until you're completely and utterly grounded in your body. So I hope this makes sense to you guys. I just really wanted to share this because it's such an important topic to me. I've noticed a complete change around, change around, turnaround in my life 
when I started becoming more grounded. I noticed that I've been able to be more creative. I have better conversations with people. I have better digestion. I'm able to sleep better. I mean, uh, oh, my read, my read, my read host of benefits have happened in my life because of being grounded, all right? So again, if you guys have any questions about this topic or any other topic, obviously, please message me anytime. You can either email me, my email information is in the description below, or you can uh, contact me by commenting below and I read all comments, right? Again, I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.